And I'm Ron James from Wine and Dine San Diego Radio. And we just had our show, and we have Nino and uh, Nino, right? Nino. Nino and Sumo. Correct. Nino and Sumo. And they're putting on the Poke Fest. Yep. Yeah. And we've already talked about that on the radio, so you can you can find out about, all about that by clicking the link right below, right above this video. So I'm going to have Nino and Sumo show you what Poke is all about. Yes. Okay. Go Thank for you, it. Thank you, Ron. Okay. Well, as you guys know, Poke is um, traditionally raw fish and... Uh, traditionally it's just raw fish and seaweed but we have a, a variation that we're gonna do and we're gonna put it um, with some rice not as a sushi but as a musubi so first of all we're gonna um, use some green onions and uh, we'll cut up the green onions and you, you need to you need to uh, slice the green onions really thin on a bias uh, for this what's a bias in layman's terms sir Angle. Angle. On an angle. So here's our green onions. And we're going to use our, a brown onion. And we want to slice this really thin so it can soak up some of the flavors. So we're going to make traditional poke the way that it's, that it's, uh, that it's commonly made. And then we're going to kind of mix it up and make a poke musubi because we love musubi. So we're gonna cut this really thin. For those of you that don't know what a musubi is, uh, musubi, the traditional term uh, in Japanese is just a rice ball. And uh, of course with the Asian Hawaiian fusion and the Asians coming over to Hawaii, there's always a mix up of different foods. And uh, so a musubi, um, as we know it, uh, or as I love musubi.com knows it, is uh, usually a bed of rice and um, your preference of protein. Uh, for me, that would be spam. Uh, and uh, sometimes you could put teriyaki chicken or you could put mahi mahi. Um, so it's a bed of rice, a protein, and it's all wrapped up in nori or, uh, or seaweed. And uh, it's kind of like the, the Hawaiian sandwich, so to speak and you can find them at any convenience store uh, all throughout Hawaii. But today we're gonna mix it up and we're gonna put poke inside as the protein for musubi and make a poke musubi. We'd like to thank Whole Foods for the fish. Um, anyway, yeah. uh, great piece of ahi. As you can see, it's a sashimi grate and uh, we're gonna cube it up. Sumo, what, kind, what other kinds of poke did you uh, grow up eating in, in Hawaii? Um, it's not always ahi, so. You know, there's taco pokey. Right, there's octopus, um, there's crab, um, there's fish cake. Uh, if you don't know what fish cake is, it's, it's Japanese call it kamaboko or surimi. And, uh, oh, that looks good. So you want to cube it up and you got to make sure your ahi is cold and fresh. As Ron was, we were talking on the radio show, uh, part of pokey is, you know, something being fresh, like right out of the, the ocean. And Ron had a story, of his thing of someone catching a fish and biting it. And I thought uh, that's, he was talking about me as a young boy. When we'd go fishing, I'd catch a fish and I would just take a chunk out of, uh, I would just bite it. And anyway. It's not very, uh, yeah. You got any pictures of that? Cannibalistic. Yeah, you know. But anyway, um, our pokey, we're gonna put our, our dressing on it, or our sauce, and it's all up to flavor. And uh, two things you need to understand is that, can you open this? Yeah. Um, first, we're gonna add uh, sesame oil, and sesame oil is really strong, so you, you really, um, I would put for about a pound of pokey, I would put less than a tablespoon, so um, it has a very strong flavor, and if you put too much, it'll overflavor your fish. Is that toasted kind or uh, roasted, roasted sesame oil? So uh, that's about half a tablespoon. And can you open the salt too, Nino? Yeah, I got the mussels here. I got to open everything. And I would put about a tablespoon of uh, soy sauce. We have gluten-free soy sauce. So pokey is a gluten-free dish if you use gluten-free 
soy sauce. Correct. And for those of you that don't know, a lot of us in California are used to poke having soy sauce in the recipe, but uh, traditionally the Hawaiians didn't have soy sauce, so it was just salt. Salt and what else? Salt and seaweed. Salt and seaweed. That's right. And then the onions and the, and the shoyu or the soy sauce came later. With the Asian influence. And we have some Hawaiian red salt. Looks like this. If you're in San Diego, you can get this at a store called Motu Hawaii. MotuHawaii.com. Red salt like this isn't easy to find, so you want to pick it up at, at a place like Motu Hawaii. Also, the Asian markets like Barukai Market and Mitsua might have it as well. We, we're going to make it a little spicy for Ron. Ron looks like a spicy guy, so we're putting... Um, Are you saying he's hot? He likes hot things. Oh, okay. Yes, this, I do. <laughs> <laughs> this is um, called Sichimi Tongarashi. It's seven different kind of chilies. Mm. And uh, we're going to get our chopsticks. Mix this. If you can see that. So as you can see, there wasn't uh, you can make this in minutes, but it's about the freshness and it's about the blend of ingredients. If you're going to make it spicy, it has to be the right kind of spice, the right kind of onion. Um, pokey is such a simple dish, but you can get bad pokey pretty frequently, especially on the mainland. So, so that's this why is we what the finished product looks like. And we're going to put it into a mold and make a musubi. So basically, can I sample that? Sure, That's use good. clean chopstick, yeah. Because I love pokey. That's so why we do the Ferran pokey festival. I'll put some on Anyone the plate. Anyone else want to sample? You want to sample? Yeah. Mm -hmm. put just some come on sample, it. just real quick. Karen? We have to see if it's good enough. Sure. I mean, the only reason we do this show is to get the free samples. <laughs> there you go. Oh. That is so good. I've said that before. <laughs> uh, I'm on camera and I can't use. Hmm. Hmm. The term in, in Hawaii is they say that this is ono, means delicious, or you can say uh, onolicious. Um, and uh, what else? What other kind of terms for good, taste good? Broke the mouth. Broke the mouth. This thing tastes so good that it broke your mouth. So you say, <laughs> broke the mouth. So we're gonna use a timaki nori, and when you use nori, you always use the shiny side up. So it doesn't absorb uh, the liquid or whatever, the moisture from the rice. What kind of rice is this, Sumo? This is hopper rice, which is a blend of 50% white rice, short grain, and 50% short grain brown rice. So you put it in a musubi mold, pack it down, and then you put your pokey, a layer of pokey. Musubi molds can also be found at your local Asian market, hopefully. They're not easy to find. You can also go online and, and just look up musubi mold. And musubi is spelled M-U-S-U-B-I. And so I don't know if you can see it on camera, but hapa literally means like oh, half, sorry. Half, half, half. And so this is half brown rice, half white rice. Not typical for your, uh, your picky Asian eaters. We like white sticky rice, but you know, we can keep it half healthy. And uh, we're doing a fusion musubi here anyway, so might as well get all crazy with it. Press it down in your mold. Need water? No, we're good. We're good. Take it out, wrap it, and you have your pokey musubi. Let me cut this. So very convenient to wrap up and just take it to the beach with you, stick it in the cooler, and grind it right there. Usually I put water on the edge there to seal the, the nori, but Sumo says he doesn't want water. I don't know why. So there you go. There it is. Ron? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Put it up. Here. I'll be there. Thank you, guys. Alrighty. Thank you. Aloha. Good?